everybody how are you hope you're all okay uh, this is going to be a real super quickie because it's a quick Timo haul uh, it's not massive I don't well I can't afford to buy a load of stuff but you know what it's like once you start um, so I, I wanted some gemstones and things and I want to combine them now that this has arrived on this set of nails so I may as well show you uh, so these are for the desk. I don't even know how big they are or anything. I thought, oh, I'll just get one little pack to start and see. Um, I thought they look like plastic backed. Oh, well, they're quite big. They're quite big. They completely cover, so that's good. I could even actually probably cut them in two and use them. Yeah, that's great for Felix having a plastic bag, so. They're only thin, but that's all they need to be, so they're good. Right, how many was in it? Can't remember. Fair amount. So that's those. Good. Happy with those. I got some more of these little tiny flowers ready for summer. Because they've got these in all sorts of different colours. Uh, and they've got gold little um, beads. Little sort of caviar beads. But there's even black in there, so that's nice. Black and red, happy with those. Gemstones, I got pink. They're nice and sparkly. Pink, blue. These do vary in price enormously, so I did the price check when I got that. And, uh, but I definitely wanted glass ones. So, yes. Lovely. Actually, they don't, they sound like glass. They actually sound like plastic. Let's get one out. I have to bite it and then I know. Mm, glass. That's good. I rub it on my tools. <laughs> um, and red. Somewhere. And a red one with the stars. Oh, little bows. They're nice. Yeah, so they're all right. I'll well take these out for the using them. At some point. I don't think the colour's changing. I've had some before and they would change colour and I didn't want them to change colour. So let's put these in. So we've got red, red, red pink, white, black. In, see if the colour changes. Mm. Mm -mm. No, that's good. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, I've got these. Uh, Aggie showed these. Uh, Unpolished by Aggie. She showed these on hers. The bigger for me stickers. Um, sheets of stickers. Because I've got them all shoved in one file um, and I have to fish through every single sheet. I want to try and do sections for whether the floral or butterflies or whatever. So I've got two. So that's good. There's loads of sheets in there. Can you go in both sides? Yeah. Yeah. So two sides on each. Leaf. Lovely. And I've, oh, just one more, I think. Yeah. And black. I've got some black ones. There we go. So that's a very short haul. So what I'll do is I'll just carry on from this now. I'll get this set of nails done. And uh, we'll use some of these. So I've decided to do myself a set of nails. So I've got myself all ready. And I'm going to use these little flowers out of this. Just the black and white. And um, I've also pulled out some little silvery uh, caviar beads for the centre because the ones that came in them are all gold and they want the silvery at the minute um, and I'm going to use Imaley's oops I'm going to use Imaley uh, Builder Gel and I'm going to do it so it's like easily removable so I'll show you what I'm doing so this is the design I'm going to do and we're going to build this on paper forms 
So I've got my nails more or less ready. Um, the only thing to do still is a little file around that one because it's a bit longer. So I'll take this down so that there's just a little lip. That's it. I've cleaned all around my cuticles as much as I want to and pushed them back. So I did that last night, so I'll just give them another little push. Just so they're as far away as they can be. That's that. And because they're fresh, uh, obviously I've washed my hands and everything, but I'm just going to give them a little wipe with some alcohol. To make sure they're nice and clean. Then what I'm going to use is, I'm going to put on some ordinary top coat, ordinary nail varnish top coat, let that dry, and then I'm going to put some white liquid uh, latex peel-off tape on, because like I said, I want to be able to remove them and change my nails out. Um, might take them off straight away, if I don't like them particularly, um, or I might leave them on uh, and pull them off in a couple of days, but it, it's allowed me to get them off. So that's that. So I'll make a start with this. What you would normally do is, obviously you want them to stay on, so use your dehydrator. Um, so they do a dehydrator and a nail prep, a primer, a bond, uh, and then your base coat. Now I've just ordered this because this is also now the new formula. Um, I'll link a video that I mainly did that tells you all about this because I can't pronounce all of them. But HEMA is your 2-hydroxyethyl methacrylate, HPMA hydroxypropyl methacrylate and TPO is triphenyl bonzoyl, can't even say it, something like that. It's in the video. Um, but it's whiteners and all sorts of things and these are the 1, 2 and 3 of um, allergens that are most recorded basically. So, if you can be safe, why not? Be as safe as you can be. So, what I'm going to do is, I'll put this on. Just put this on all the nails. Just a nice thin coat. And I'm going to make sure that this goes all the way back to my cuticle, because I don't want the... Um, I don't want it to stick around my cuticle if I do manage to get any little bits on it. So that's that. So I'll do that with all of them and pop back. Now this one, which is just like I say, a white latex peel off. So when that's dried, that'll go clear. Then we'll come back and I'll put some forms on. So I'll see if I can show you with this one, but with my gloves, they're terrible for um, sticking to forms. I'm just putting that on the back of there. Oh. Tear that open. Come off. I need this to go lower down, so I need to cut that round a little bit. It's under me. I need to get it over it. going to trim there and there. Okay. 
that's it. So I'm going to use, uh, so at this point you would have your base coat on top of your primer. But I'm not putting any other base coat on. I'm just going to use this, which is a builder base. So, I use a little brush. I don't do the whole operation with the brush. And I keep my finger down a little bit. And I'm just going to put it, not to the edges yet. I'm just going to get it over that edge. Use my little brush just to tease it. So it's just gone all the way over. I'll cure that first. I have very sensitive nail beds, so I'll start mine on the 90 when it's the first coat of base, um, which is like a slow start. Now, this new formula um, with these three free, you can get them in the build gels, and like I say, you can get the top and base now. You can also get a set, they've got an offer on uh, for the Top and base together, or a rubber base and top coat, or a clear builder gel and top coat. So, it's a good time to get it. I did notice on Amazon that it says that they're using up the, some of the new and older bottles, but it will all be the new formula that's sent out now. I've got a new set of little uh, shimmery colours that's coming through today so I'll do a separate video and I'll show you that uh, I thought I'll get some more with the three free um, and I'm going to use just black and white and a glitter which came in a set that also came with a red I think but I did a video of it anyway uh, that'll be down in my um, playlist I'm just going to do another coat Get it all in the apex area. Push that up a bit, but not right to the back. Turn it over. Get my little brush in case I need to. There we go. Now I can go for the normal cure over 60 seconds. So I just need a bit more, can you see? Just need a bit more strength across the join there. And just build that a little bit more. Come off. That's it. So 
I'm letting it settle. So these are all made and filed. So now uh, the colours I'm using, I'm using 007, which is a black. Zero one one. There's the white one. And zero two three which is like um, a glitter that's going to go up over the top of them. So that's that. So liner brush. So I've got black line first. The thing is, my nail bed's very short, so I'm putting the black line on that and then I'll take the white further on. So, I'll give that a quick flash. Now the white a bit further down. I'll do another coat of that. Not that I've got a tiny, teeny tiny dotting tool. I'm going to do the white on the black. directly on that white. Right. 
And then over the both of those will be this. I'll just wipe, make sure there's no black. It's going to come off now. So I'm just going to use this 023 from here. That's it. That one's ready for top coat. So here we are. We're all done. I decided to go with just the black and the white. A little bit of glitter. So we'll have a little bit of uh, cuticle oil if I can find it. So this is just pure wheat germ oil, this from Amelia. I use it all the time. I like it. So I'll have a bit of this on. And we're done. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you click the bell. If you've not been getting notifications. I had a couple of ladies said they'd not had notifications. Just click your bell off and back on again. And that might do it. Uh, and I'm just going to... Just going to unbox my next package and I'll do some swatches for those and uh, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Love you loads. Bye.